Hi, this is Ed back with another patron video with some music on in the background. Thank you to all my patrons. Got some comments here. We'll go into those after we go through 20 strange things from B and Maze, or at least amazing things. I'm rating them on the level of 1 to 5 here. <coughs> and I heard that song in the background is from Clevin McLeod. It's called Quirky Dog. This is actually a piece of royalty free music. I thought. Music being something that might change the mood a little bit. Maybe that can make it a bit more happy. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just really get right into it here. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. Here is a flip book. Number one here. Let's rate it on how amazing it is. How amazing is it? Well, that's a lot of flipping in that book, that's for sure. But of course, flip books are... They've been around forever. It's actually just how animation used to be made. Um, so, how amazing? A zero on a scale. <laughs> it's just something you've seen before. Not only that, but I mean, it's done with a flip book. I mean, look at... Same process is done to make Snow White and the Seven Dwarves from Disney back in the days. Isn't that amazing? If that's amazing? Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's up to you. Ice cave made by a volcano. Wow, that's kind of quite, pretty crazy here. I'll just pause it. I'll just be back one second. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do something very quickly. That is pretty amazing. Is it real? Well, it looks kind of real. I mean, apparently, if it's to be believed. I'm not sure what... I mean, it's an ice cave made by a volcano. I get that. It's volcanic. The ice is melting. Give it a one. No, actually, I'll give it a zero. If it's amazing, it gets a one. If, it's a, it's a, if it blows you away, it gets a five. One to five. So it's number three here, inside a centuries old French cello. That is pretty amazing actually. And the light's coming through. Um, I'll give it a one, it's quite odd, you would never really see inside a cello and it looks like a hall of some kind, it's quite amazing there. Got my coffee. Right here, I'm going to have a taste of a sip, pull one of those. Who's that person that always has the coffee? Can't remember now. The guy that does Dilbert. Ah, I watch his videos, can't remember his name. He's always telling someone to have a simultaneous sip. That gets a 1 out of 10. 1 out of 5, sorry. Clouds over Lake Superior today. Looks like a big massive wave. Gets a zero. What's wrong with me? Does anyone else find these amazing? One, two, three, four. I think I've just been on the internet for too long. I've seen like everything there's... <laughs> I've seen everything there's to see. I've seen cats play pianos. Okay, I've seen everything. <laughs> Information overload here. Back in the 1980s, someone would look at that and say, well, majestic. I actually think it's a Walmart, Walmart commercial. Why? Because there's a bit of suggestion in there. Is it a random picture? The only way to find out, of course, would really be to look at the forensics in Photoshop, but I don't know. Is that promoted? No. You can't tell these days. Here we are at number five. Be life, the universe, and everything to someone like me. Promoted. <laughs> I can't even tell what's an ad anymore. Okay, well that's four anyway. We've done four. Let's get past the ad. Here we are. Somewhere in Iceland. Okay, let's have a look at this Giffy cat here. Well, they're walking along the beach. It's quite, quite, quite amazing. I give it a one. I mean, look at the reflection. It's kind of very beautiful, but it is uh, black sand, of course, or a darker type of sand. And of course, what you have 
with that is you have a mirror effect when there's some water on top of it or a darker type of sand looks amazing though right I mean that's it's something cinematic that you could have you could shoot anything over there if you're a if you're a movie person you've got a great landscape there no use no need for the CGI I'll give it a one out of five it's quite amazing Okay, let's go to the next one that is a one out of five for number five wait on one two three four five yeah what is this sorcery my guess is it's a jellyfish what is that it's a cuttlefish Oh, it's a cuttlefish um, <clears throat> it's the way that they move along oh it's an octopus which a cuttlefish is a type of octopus of course it can uh, mask into the backgrounds nature is amazing I give that a number one it is quite amazing isn't it well is a one too high though was I amazed by it? That's the question. No. I've seen literally a thousand hours of David Attenborough. I'm not amazed by that. So I'm giving it a zero. Little girl, girl with serious yo-yo skills. Okay. It's a bold claim. Yeah, those are pretty serious yo-yo skills. It's the, it's the skill. This is probably their like dad or someone just standing there and like waiting and they're like are they I give that a one out of ten. Actually, you know what? That's a that is pretty amazing. That's a definitely a one that's a definitely a two out of ten, I think. It's about a two out of ten. Two out of no, what did I say ten? Two out of five. Okay, that's seven. Pretty sure that's number seven. Yep, that's number seven there. Number eight. It's the cat who got amazed. <laughs> Look at the size of those cats. <laughs> Look at the cat. Look at the cat's face. Look at the cat. <laughs> that is a three out of ten. Oh, that's a three out of five. It's definitely very good. <laughs> it's like seeing the huge giant tigers. By the way, I mean, you know, people that have tigers as pets, then they, they, that's crazy in my opinion, just because they're so they're so big and dangerous. I mean, you're just waiting for the time when they're hungry and they eat you. <laughs> Look at the cat. <laughs> it almost looks like CGI or something, because it kind of looks really unnatural. Don't know. No, it's probably correct. There's eight there. Give that a two out of five. Sometimes it changed the rain, but I'm saying two out of five for that. Nine. Zippo lighter paintings. Here we go. Modern art. <laughs> Don't want, well, that's actually quite amazing. I mean, that's yeah, that's uh, some high skill there. All right, I'd give that a. That's definite two, three. Give it a two out of um, two out of five. The reason why is he's just really just creating a charcoal, right? It's kind of like just it's a different way of um, painting, really. You know, it, artists have to constantly try to redefine, you know, to to separate themselves from the mass, basically. So. Give it a two out of five. Number five is blown away, by the way. Two, number one is quite amazing. Two is separation from things that are amazing. So I think that's a. What is it? A two. It's nine. I mean, it's a nine. Number nine. 
I give that give that a two out of five. When you want to go to the pub, nothing stops you. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not amazing. What kind of... Look, he got hurt. He's probably heavily injured and has to go this... And then he goes into the pub. Yeah, that's not amazing to me. I mean, that's like, you know, a serious... A serious accident. And he's probably walking into the pub slowly because he's completely dazed. I'm not going to play it again. I'm not going to give that a one. That's um, it's kind of disturbing, actually. Eleven here. Capsule Corp has come to the real world. By the way, let me know what you think of the music. I can change it. I just thought it might add a little different dimension to the video itself. Back one second here. Okay. Capsule Corp has come to the real... What is this? Just on that thing. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, so they've got a thing that extends out into some kind of um, rod. <laughs> yeah. You just push that thing and then you pull it out and suddenly you've got a staff. Should be useful if you're a ninja or something. <laughs> of course, it's got some kind of... Well, it's like Chinese dolls, right, isn't it? The whole entire thing is like... So the, the edges will be thinner than the middle. The only problem with that is that if it was used as a martial weapon, just commenting on it, because it's hollow, right? It's just like a piece of tin. So it's all kind of like aesthetics. Give that a one, a one out of um, five. Here we are on number 12. Why can't I keep track of numbers anymore? Does anyone else have that problem? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, so we're now at 12 now. Oh, we got it. Giffy here. So what is this one on BMAs? This says, Crow takes hood of a driver's car. I've played this before. I gave this a five. Play it again. Look at that. That's how the Beastmaster rolls. <laughs> I didn't think I gave it a five. I gave it a three. But he's driving along and a crow is literally um, following him. Classic. Look at it. Crows are beautiful creatures. We're at 13 here. Floating drawing of a fish. There's a three dimensional drawing there, obviously. Let's have a look at that drawing. Now, that is a great drawing. What they've done is obviously the paper extends out so they've cut it and it looks three-dimensional it's actually a flat image that's what they say that's what it's one of the best I've seen so we'll give it a two if it's real it looks real I mean you can tell by the face that it's not well it just it looks it doesn't look completely real I mean it's like a drawing but if it's not just a if it's really a drawing and not something else So we're at 13 now. Kingsman Paper Animation by Seri Serena T. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it, you know. I get that, you know, it's just animation, but it's like done a different way. I get it. I give it a give it a one. I don't even want to watch the rest of it. Fourteen, invisible cosplay. <laughs> Look at him. How's that done? Oh, he's using a mirror or something to give the look that he's uh, hollow on the inside. Extremely well done. 
so there's a mirror system in there um, which is making it look like it has depth in the inside probably or uh, actually might even be like a, a you know like a LCD not sure I'm not actually sure how that's done How is that done? That is quite amazing. I give that a three out of five. I've never seen that before. Is it just a? It cannot be an Android because the movements of the arms are too good. If we look at it, I think. Um, if we look at it, for, you know, look, have a little investigation here. I think that this is far taller than the person should be so the person probably it's probably around about there as you can see by these the shoulder length from the top there going down his arms and shoulders are probably about there so um, all this is probably real that it's empty and things like that whereas the illusions really focused on the middle there and using um, <coughs> I don't know mirrors or something like that not sure and you might think how if his shoulders are there how is he so tall well, he's standing on small stilts the illusion itself may give that a three out of five that's quite well done actually here at 15 unless I'm mistaken that's promoted it's an advertisement 15 here mashable save time and get this gaffer tape gun I don't know what that's supposed to be another advertisement it's clearly an advertisement but doesn't have promoted on it gaffer tape gun so you put gaffer tape on the ground with a roller I mean good device especially for those kinds of people that are, need to put down a lot of gaffer tape but that's an advertisement for a product okay it's clearly an advertisement for a product not that there's anything wrong with advertisements for products but when you're dis disguising advertisements for products as news stories or things it's dishonest whatever happened to those things they used to have like sponsored by thing on the advertisement telling you it's an advertisement this is an advertisement for such and such Mashable, ladies and gentlemen, will not include that. This is 15, we we'll, won't classify that as one. Firewall at Yosemite National Park in California. I don't know what a firewall. By the way, what a firewall is <coughs> in firefighting is an actual, uh, you, you burn out in front of the fire in order to kill the oxygen from the other fire. But I don't know what oh well that's I guess that's what they're doing here but it doesn't make any sense well California has been plagued by fires because I mean it looks like snow what kind of wildfires do you get in snow it's trouble even starting the fires <clears throat> I don't know what that means that's a, that's a zero beautiful image though 16 here pastel sunset at Mount Fuji that's a pastel which is a type of you know it's an artistic Thing that's been used like for drawing and stuff it's a pastel amazing I'm gonna give that a number one that's ex well that in terms of art that's exceptional quality uh, for working with pastels which is like a chalk right that's 16 let's keep on going 17 this guy gets puts a giant motor on as a small boat <laughs> okay he's got a giant motor on a small boat okay whoa what kind of <laughs> that's where you're kind of um <laughs> you know that's uh that's a bit crazy i think to do that but hey you know what whatever that's a number three that's pretty well two or three i'm thinking about a three out of five just starting it up see the thing about this is I don't know if they've he just going there like this and they've sped up the footage to make it 
uh, as an illusion to the fact that he's going faster. I think they have sped it up a bit because you wouldn't be able to control the boat at that speed, right? You'd be how would you how do you steer it at that speed with with a rudder? I mean. I don't know. Is it real? Give it a 2 out of 5. What are we at? 17. Yeah. Okay. 18 here. The smoky morning in the mountains. The smoky morning in the mountains. Well, it looks beautiful. Okay. But if I look out my window, <clears throat> I see the same things all the time, you know. And driving around in New Zealand or most countries have these kind of misty hills. It'd be exceptional, I guess, if you're living in the um, the city because you don't see nature, right? There's something suspicious. I don't mean to go on about conspiracies, but there's something suspicious about these vote counts. Look at this, 12, vo 12 upvotes. You know, and let's look at the top ones. This got one... Th this doesn't make any sense. It's got 53,000 upvotes here. I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to use use it properly. I don't know how it's upvoted. Maybe I'm just missing some piece of information. It's got 41. How many things has Be Amazed got? Maybe it hasn't got... Well, it's got 742,000 subscribers. 2,000 online right now. Yeah, I don't know. There's something weird about that. Of course, Reddit is a complete and utter psyop. I mean, this music is starting to drive me nuts now. <laughs> yeah. What am I supposed to do with my eyes, asked this person here. Good question in Mirror World. It's number 19. I don't understand what that is. Okay, it's an optical illusion. Someone's got a piece of cardboard and drawn something on it and put it in front of the doorway. There's the doorway above there. By the uh, lettering there, this is in China. I don't know. I don't know what that. Is. What am I supposed to do with my eyes? Oh, is it a video? <laughs> it's a video. It's not a picture. Back one second. Sorry, I just paused it to take a drink of my coffee. So let's have a look at it here. This is the video. What am I supposed to do with my eyes? Oh, wow. That is really cool, isn't it? When you're moving around, it's giving you almost a 3D look. That is pretty cool. First, I was wondering what it meant. Okay, I'm going to give that a 3 out of 5. That is really cool. It's one of the best optical illusions I've seen. Just in terms of something doing it a little bit different, it's going from a side-on view to a three-dimensional view. And then it comes back around. It's pretty cool. Put a three out of five. Last one here, and this is water screen. So let's have a look at this. Wow! That's done with water. That's really cool. Wow, that's really cool to that's kind of like an amazing form of technology. I've never seen that before. So they're kind of like <clears throat> it's got some kind of like you know machinery above that's kind of like dropping the water at the right time in order to form these cool pictures. I'll give that a two out of five three out of five actually. No fives out of five. Uh, but one three out of five. Let's have a look. What's this? Liquid, let's just have a look at a couple more. Liquefying wood with photography. Liquefying wood with photography. <clears throat> Why don't, well, so I've taken numerous different images. <laughs> Why don't just take something called video? You just take slow motion video of it. Whatever's happening to it. I guess what they're doing here is why it's photographs. Is they're sawing it, taking a photo, removing the saw blade, taking a photo, removing the saw blade, etc. That's giving them that effect so they can do it and photograph without using the saw blade. 
time consuming. But it gives you something unique, right? I would have never seen that. Kind of amazing. There's the grain. Sanding something down. Soaring something up. <laughs> yeah. Looks like maple or something there. Anyway, quite great. I'm going to give that a 2 out of 5. One more. First time in Moran Lake. Beautiful lake. I mean, that looks fantastic. Looks like someone's in a pretty remote location there. I don't know where that is. It's in the United States. You can tell by the trees. Or Canada, Northern America. We've got another giant motor on a boat. We've already seen that one. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, excuse me. Let's play this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a freaking scorpion. He's eating the scorpion. Oh, that's just... That's crazy, man. Number one, I know he's eating a freaking... What kind of fish is that? Now he's eating... No, no, before he was eating a centipede. Now he's eating a... Now he's eating a, a snake. What kind of fish is that? The fish is eating... Oh, it's quite amazing. I mean, I've never seen anything like that, but... Uh, He's eating a centipede. I hate centipedes. I remember a long time ago I already told this story with my dad. I was lifting up a bunch of wood while I was in the forest. Because we used to run like a... Well, he had a forestry background. He used to go up there and cut trees down and stuff. And I lifted up this plank and there was a centipede the length of my arm. <laughs> I don't know why, but back then I didn't care. I wanted to put it in a jar and bring it to school. But of course, um, it died in the jar, but um, it had, if my dad said if it bit you or something, it would make your hand swell up or something. So to be careful with it, but I mean that fish, look at it, it's vicious. It's eating a scorpion. Now it's eating a snake. Probably eat the person if they chuffed in there. This crazy fish, man. What is that animal? I have to know what that animal is. Now 28 here. Let's have a look at some of the comments. Maybe we can grab some information. Didn't realize that they were that fierce. It's a slurping. It's like spaghetti. It's slurping. It's like spaghetti. What kind of... This thing eats nightmares. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's just... Uh, I don't know what kind of animal is it. It doesn't tell you what type of fish. Oh, okay, here's the link to the type of fish it is. It's a Faka puffer fish. They can reach up to 1.4 feet in length. Like all puffer fish, they have the ability to inflate when threatened and carry toxin inside them. So that is the fish there. With the bookmark that. <laughs> no, just kidding. I remember that. That's kind of a crazy, crazy looking fish there. That thing's crazy. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10 actually, even though it's kind of like an uneasy video to watch. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 because I've never seen nothing like that in my life before. Nah, I'm not going to give it a 4 out of 10. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. It is amazing that you have fish that could do that. Can we get all the fish to eat all the centipedes? <laughs> When I was a kid, I, didn't, I, didn't, I was oblivious. I didn't really care what is, about centipedes or anything, but as an adult, I'm like, I don't like those things, man. <laughs> anyway, let's jump over to the comment section of the Patreon video. We've only got a few comments here today, not that many. Um, here is our... By the way, I have got some messages. I will reply to those, but that'll be in the afternoon because I literally have to go out really quickly now. 
uh, straight after this video but I do have some personal that send me some private messages and I'll be replying to those uh, when I get back which will be later on so it'll be later on tonight much later I like the last one the dog and the bacon <laughs> this is from <laughs> I remember that one that was from 20 random things from reddit when the dog was smelling the bacon it went crazy <laughs> well, that was amazing Mary N states thank you there uh, for that comment it was a good reminder it gave me a laugh Mary N says the tomatoes were very interesting I would give the dog a piece of bacon <laughs> the co-workers getting flowers was hilarious I've probably made that face yeah, those are both very funny. What site were we on? We were just on Reddit then, just doing the top 20, right? And we, even though there were 20, there were lots of misses, but there were some, um, we did, uh, we did hit a few home runs there with that, so, so the saying goes, or if you're in New Zealand, we did hit a few cricket balls. <laughs> um, we did get a few, um, fours, so to speak, on that. But yeah, we did. It was um, we did get some really good ones. Like the, I, I I forget these things, so it's good people reminds me of like the dog with the bacon and the flowers. That was hilarious. You've got the flowers in, and you've got that young lady there getting these flowers, and then the other person has that face on her. <laughs> That's classic. Here's Beck here. If it makes you laugh out loud. Ed, surely that's at least a three. I think you're right. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to soften up on my rating system. It's getting ridiculous. It's a three. If it makes you laugh out loud, it is a three. That is a good level to be at. Number fifteen was a good laugh for an Aussie. I can't remember fifteen. What was fifteen? Well, <laughs> let's find out. We can even find it anymore. Number 15 here. What was 15? I'm just going to scroll through this very quickly. What was number 15? Is it the dog with the bacon? No. What was it? Oh, is it that one? <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Remember that thing? I was jumping across that thing and then it just jumped off and went straight into the water. That was funny, that one. I don't see number 15. What was number 15? Someone's going to have to tell me what number 15 was. Well, I, I'm not... I should go out and find out, but... I don't know what number 15 was. Oh, this one? This is number 15, maybe? I know that the comments are up here, so it must be getting close to 15. Anyway, I'll find out a bit later. Don't worry about that. Thank you, everyone, for supporting my channel. I hope you had some fun. Did you like the music, the quirky dog? Let's turn it up. Just to turn it up there in case you're not sick of it already. I am getting pretty sick of it. Nonetheless, it's nice to have some music in the background. Might choose a different song next time though. In the meantime, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for all of your support and thanks for those questions. Again, ask me any questions you like in there and I'll try my best to answer them. thought I'd save answering the questions until after the video if there is any questions there just so the people that don't want to have to um, watch all of the... Uh, no, sorry, don't want to have to listen to the comments before we go into the 20. Of course, you can just skip to the end of the video if you want to see the answers anyway. Thank you so much for your support. And of course, this is Ed from the Outer Light Channel and the Daily Rabbit Hole.com. Back again. Well, gone again. And I'll see you all. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you all later.